Now let's see proper fraction, limit fraction, and improper fraction. Let's start with proper fraction. The fractions which are less than one fourth are called proper fractions. The fractions which are less than one fourth are called proper fractions. In proper fraction, numerators are great smaller than denominator. In proper fraction, numerators are smaller than denominator. For example, two by six. Here, two is numerator and six is denominator. Two is smaller than six. Four by eight. Four is smaller than eight. Numerator is smaller than denominator. One more example. One by seven. Here, numerator is one. Denominator is seven. One is smaller than seven. That is, numerator is smaller than denominator. These fractions are called as proper fraction. See one more fraction. That is, unit fraction. The proper fraction with numerator one. Proper fraction with numerator one are called unit fractions. For example, one by two, one by five, one by seven, one by four. In all these fractions, numerators are one and denominators are greater than. Let's see improper fractions. The fractions which are equal to or more than one fourth. Fractions which are equal to or more than one fourth are called as improper fraction. Let's understand what is improper fraction with one example. Here, look at this square. Here, square is divided. Five by two. These are 
is the numerous the numerous with whole numbers the fraction with whole numbers are called as mixed numerals and this, this one is improper fraction the numerator is greater than denominator children let's see how to change the improper fraction to mixed numerals changing improper fraction to mixed numerals let's start with one example 9 by 4 9 by 4 is a improper fraction that is numerator is greater than denominator let's see how to change to mixed numerals to change the improper fraction to mixed numerals you need to divide numerator by denominator let's see here numerator is 9 9 divided by 4 here multiply the table of 4 the nearest number to in 9 in 4 was a table is 8 that is 4 to the 8 now subtract 9 minus 8 1 now here quotient is 2 now 2 is a whole number
denominator and at numerator. Here whole number is 3, 3 into denominator. Denominator is 2. Then at numerator. Why? There is no change in denominator. That is 2. Now you multiply 3 to the 6. 6 plus 1 by 2. Now here 6 plus 1, 7 and write denominator as it is. 7 by 2. 7 by 2 is a improper fraction. Here 7 is numerator. Numerator is greater than denominator. 2 Sorry, 3, 1 by 2, you change improper fraction as 7 by 2. Let's see one more example. 3, 2 by 4 is the mixed numerous. Let's see how to change. First you multiply whole number into denominator. Whole number is 3. 3 into denominator 4 plus numerator that is 2 and write denominator 4 as it is. First you multiply 3 4 are 3 4 are 12 plus 2 by 4. 12 plus 2 14. 14 by 4. Here 14 is numerator. Numerator is greater than denominator. That is improper fraction. So 3, 2 by 4 is you change it as 14 by 4. It's a improper fraction. Let's see one more example. 2, 1 by 3. First you multiply whole number into denominator. That is whole number 2 into denominator 3 plus numerator 1 and write denominator as it is. Multiply 3 to the 6, 6 plus 5 numerator, now here 3, 6 plus 5, 7, 7 by 3, 7 by 3, 7 is greater than 3, that is improper fraction. 1 by 3 is equal to 7 by 3. Children, I hope now you understood how to change improper fraction to mixed numerals and how to change mixed numerals to improper fraction.